So to get this wrap started, we're going to grab our category 3 yarn, make a slip knot, take our 4 millimeter hook, and we're going to make a chain that comes out to 50 inches. Once we have our chain, we are going to block off the last loop, chain up 3, this counts as a double crochet, prepare for a double crochet, and then double crochet once into that loop that we blocked off, or the fourth loop from the hook. And from here, we're going to be double crocheting all the way down our chain, so go ahead and sit back turn on some TV and do your double crochets. <laughs> Once we double crocheted all the way down our chain, now we're going to start working on the design and we're going to be doing rows of fans and diamonds. We're going to start off with a row of fans. So from here, we're going to chain up one, flip our work. We are going to prepare for a double crochet, count out three loops, one, two, three, insert our hook into that third loop with a double crochet. And from here, we're going to chain one, prepare for a double crochet, go into that same loop, and we're going to do double crochet chain one until we have four in the same loop. So this is what we have, four double crochet with a chain one in between. And from here, we're going to chain another one. We're going to count out three loops again, one, two, three, insert our hook into the third loop with a single crochet. And we're going to do this all over again. So prepare for a double crochet, count out three loops, put a double crochet into that third loop, chain one. And we're going to do this until we have four, count out three single crochet and we're going to do this along the length of our double crochet rows. So I finally made it to the end for our first row of fans and now we're just going to connect it. So from here we were doing a single crochet in between so we're going to do that into the last loop that we have and from here we're going to chain up four. This is how we build up to the next row. Go ahead and flip your work and from here remember how we were doing four double crochet. We're going to go in between the second and the third so directly into the middle with a single crochet, then we're going to chain two, then we're going to prepare for a double crochet and we're going to go into that single crochet that we did in between the fans with a diamond. So all a diamond is, is five double crochet into the same loop. And once we have our five double crochet or our diamond, we're going to chain two, single crochet into the middle of the fan in the last row, chain two, and we're going to do this all the way down until we get to the last fan. So we're nearly done with our row of diamonds and we are going to start decreasing so that we make a triangle and I will show you how to decrease now. So we have one more diamond to do. So go ahead and do your chain two and do five double crochet into our last single crochet that we have. And then from here, how we decrease, we're going to chain two like normal. And then from here, we're gonna prepare for a double crochet and we're going to double crochet into the middle of the fan in the last row. So where we normally do our single crochet, we're just gonna be putting one double crochet. And that is what we have so far, that is how we decrease. And from here, we're going to chain up four, flip our work. And from here, we're going to insert our hook into the third loop that we have in the middle of the diamond with a single crochet. Once we have that, chain two, prepare for a double crochet and we are going to do a row of fans. So we're going to be alternating between fans and diamonds. So we're going to go into that single crochet that's in between our last row of diamonds. And we're going to be doing a fan, which is four sets of double crochet with a chain one in between. And we're going to keep doing this pattern all the way down. So I have a couple rows of my fans and diamonds done. I just wanted to make sure that I was telling you guys how to decrease correctly, but I'll show you guys how to do it now. But from here, as you can see, our last row was a row of fans, and then we did our chain two and then double crocheted into the last row. And how to work our way up to the next row with a decrease is we're going to chain up six, and now we're going to do a single crochet into the fan or diamond from the last row. It doesn't matter which one it is, but we're just going to go straight into the middle with a single crochet. So we're going to have this big gap. We're skipping this single crochet and everything that could have been here if we were going up in a solid row. But from here, we're going to chain up two and then we're going to continue on with our pattern, doing our fans or diamonds into the middle of the single crochet. And then we're going to work all the way down and then I'm going to show you how to decrease one more time. So we've made our way back down and we're about to end this row to start up a next one. And then we're going to be decreasing. We're going to keep decreasing. But from here, what we're going to do, we already went into our last fan with a single crochet and all we need to do now is to connect it so what we're going to do from here is chain up two and from here we're going to prepare for a double crochet we're going to skip this loop altogether and then go into the second loop from here so here's the single crochet that's in the fan from the row before and we're going to go into one 
two. We're going to double crochet into that second loop. And then that is how we decrease and work our way up to get to the next row. And from here, this is gonna be the same type of decrease that we did earlier, so go ahead and chain up six. Flip your work. We're gonna be single crocheting once into the last diamond that we did. And from here, chain two, and then continue doing your row of fan or diamond, whatever you're on. And you're gonna keep decreasing like this until it tapers down completely. So as you can see, we've done our pattern all the way down until we just have one of these guys left. I left off on one fan, but if you end on a diamond, that's totally fine as well. Now we're just gonna do a quick little double crochet connector just so that I can taper in. So from here, we're going to chain up three. This counts as a double crochet. We're gonna flip our work. We're going to prepare for a double crochet and then we're gonna double crochet into the middle of our last detail that we have. So that may be a fan or a diamond, it doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and insert your double crochet into that last one. And from here, that's how it tapers in. So we're going to chain up one and cut. So the next thing we're going to work on is the tapered in edges. And it's just going to be a row of single crochet and then a row of double crochet. So we're going to insert our hook into one of these corners. Grab our yarn, make a slip knot, pull through, chain up one to secure. And from here, this is all going to be y'all eyeballing it. Y'all can either put two single crochet or three single crochet, whatever you feel is necessary, into the, each of these side loops. And then I'll meet you once when we get to the middle, to this peak, because we're going to do an increase. So I single crocheted into the loops that we have, and now we're at the peak, and now we're going to do an increase like I said. So since both of these are double crochets, remember we did a chain three that counted as a double crochet, and then this other side is a double crochet. We're gonna first go in with three single crochet, and then for the peak, we are gonna want it to curve, so we're gonna do another three for the peak, and then for the last double crochet, we're going to do another three. So we're gonna do a total of nine single crochet into this corner. And then once we have that, go ahead and continue doing our row of single crochet. So once we have our row of single crochet, now we're going to do one more row of double crochet. So we're just going to chain up three. This counts as a double crochet, flip our work. And we're going to be double crocheting once into every loop that we have until we get to the peak. We're going to do another increase, but I'll show you how to do that once when we get there. So we've double crocheted all the way down until we've reached the peak. And remember we did nine single crochets into this peak. We're going to double crochet until we get to the fifth one and we're going to do an increase of three into the fifth loop. So I have four double crochet, we're at the fifth one and we're going to do an increase of three. So go ahead and yarn over and put three double crochet into that same fifth loop. And then once when you have that increase, go ahead and double crochet once into every loop going back down the other way. Once we reach the end with our double crochet, go ahead and chain up one. And the last thing that you have to do with this is weave in the ends. And once when you're finished weaving in all the ends, this is our finished beach wrap. This can go with anything that you have. You can make a crochet bikini or monokini and throw this over, or you can wear your own bikini that you have as well. But either way, if y'all make it, please tag me on both Instagram and Twitter. I would love to see. And they're both at TCDDIY. And if you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And then lastly, if you have any comments or questions about the yarns or hooks, all of those links will be in the description too. But either way, thank you so, 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 so much for watching and supporting, and I will see you guys in the next one.